Welcome, I am Richard, Senior Geotechnical Engineer at Plaxis, and I will be leading the upcoming Plaxis Study Workshop on the practical use of Plaxis Study for Earthquake Geotechnical Analysis in Los Angeles on Thursday, August the 24th. This one-day workshop is tailored towards practitioners in the industry to provide a good understanding of Plaxis Study for seismic analysis. The main purpose of this workshop would be to teach the basic concept for running dynamic analysis in Plexis 2D and also to train the participants in using the software themselves and for them to be able to conduct a 2D site response analysis. So this is the proposed program. The first lecture will be a very first and a very brief introduction to the main dynamic modeling features of Plaxis 2D. And this presentation will then be followed by a first and relatively simple and short introduction exercise for participants to get familiar with the dynamics analysis modeling features and workflow of Plaxis 2D. The second lecture of the day that will take place right after the break, will be focusing on the particular case of 1D site response analysis, focusing on how such type of analysis could be efficiently and quickly set up and run in Plaxis 2D. And I would like here to insist on describing during that lecture all available techniques relating, related to speed up such type of analysis without any loss of accuracy. Finally, the last lecture of the day will be focusing on practical considerations related to seismic analysis using Plaxis 2D. And more specifically, we will provide recommendations and further insight on soil material properties, damping, evaluation of the seismic motion characteristics, practical use of absorbent boundaries and compliant base motion, as well as optimum meshing definition. As you could see in this program, uh, the large part of the day will be focusing on a comprehensive case study related to the analysis of a key wall here presented. The first part of this exercise will illustrate the setting up of a simple model for the 1D site response analysis on the basis of an existing solution from Sheck, which has been specifically developed for that case study. where the results are presented here. First, some time will be dedicated on seismic analysis and some explanations will be provided on how relevant accelerograms have been generated from a given design spectrum. Then, the building up of the 1D model will be clearly explained considering material property and how we can optimally fit the uh, shear modulus reduction curve and the damping ratio that has been used for the shake analysis. The mesh definition with optimal mesh definition considering numerical dispersion. Seismic loading application in relation with compliant base. Boundary conditions and introduction of lateral tie degrees of freedom, relevant for the case of running 1D site response analysis. And then finally, phase settings and numerical analysis control parameters. Finally, the obtained results uh, between Plaxis and Shake will be compared using the three different accelerograms as provided here. The second part of this case study that will form the last exercise of the day uh, will be related to the 2D seismic analysis of the key wall. 
During this analysis and, or this exercise, full model construction will be performed with special attention on pile modeling using the so-called embedded beam row in Plaxis 2D, as well as source structure interaction by means of interface elements. The choice of the boundary condition will also be discussed and the use of lateral free field boundary and compliant base will be explained. The exercise will finally be focusing on presenting the most relevant results, such as peak ground acceleration and forces in structural elements. So this was a quick overview of the upcoming dynamic workshop that will be held in Los Angeles. Should you have any further queries, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much for your attention, and I am really looking forward to meeting you in Los Angeles on the 24th of August.